everyone so in today's video i wanted to do a recap of my solo trip that i took with ef ultimate break in germany for oktoberfest i did a video when i came back from italy with my trip from them and gave a whole recap and you guys loved that video i tried to do a video that i really would have wanted to see which is like what is the whole process like with ef ultimate break what do you do? How does it all work? So I thought I would do this video again, but with my trip from Germany, this time me going solo. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so as you guys know, I decided to travel to Germany solo. So I'm so, so, so fortunate that with teaching, I'm able to, we have two weeks for fall break, we have two weeks for winter, two weeks for spring, and then of course, about eight weeks off in the summer. So I was very lucky and at the beginning of the last year, and last year when I realized that we would have a two week fall break, I was like, you know what? Oktoberfest in Germany has been on my bucket list for years since I was a teenager. And I don't even remember how Oktoberfest got added to my bucket list. I have no idea, but I think learning about how these different countries celebrate, um, I really wanted to kind of experience that in those different cities and countries. And I learned, once I discovered and learned more about Oktoberfest, it, I was like, someday I would love to actually go to Germany and do that. So when I realized that we would have two weeks off for fall break this school year, I was like, now would be the time to go because when else would I have an opportunity to go? Because my life right now, I don't know where my life's gonna take me a year from now. What if the schedule changes and we no longer have two weeks off for fall? Like, I just have no idea. So I was like, when else would I have the opportunity to go during my fall break? Because normally it's a week and then you'd wanna have time to relax and recover. So anyway, that's why I was like, well, this would be the time to go. I tried to ask a lot of people and no one was down. So I was like, well, this is something that I wanna do. I've never really traveled out of the country by myself. I've traveled like literally on a plane by myself out of the country, but not spent time alone out of the country so i was like well this would be a new fun adventure anyways i knew i had traveled with if ultimate break with one of my best friends um last summer like this not this past summer but last year's summer and we just had a phenomenal time and there were so many people who went solo on that trip and like you couldn't even tell like it was so easy to make friends and it was like not a big deal that i was like i think i could do it so i ended up booking my trip in the summer and so I went and I was like kind of nervous going into it, but I was like, I knew I'd be fine because knowing my history of moving to um, a state for college, knowing nobody, joining a sorority, knowing nobody, moving to this city, knowing nobody, and you know, having my teaching career and a job where I knew nobody and it, everything always just worked out. Like I've always made friends. So I was like, I think I'll be fine. So anyways, two of those days were accounted for travel days so we were in munich for four days and the first day we got there headed off my overnight flight to munich landed met up with a couple people we went straight to our hotel when we got there we decided to grab a beer which i was like okay this is how oktoberfest is gonna go which is like you know oktoberfest is just like beer 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 it's just the German culture and I actually don't like beer that much but and I will say in Germany it was not bad and so we did that more and that this was the day where everyone was trickling in from their different different arrival times so we started to meet new people there were actually a lot of solo travelers on this trip way more than my other trip um, so that was nice knowing that a lot of other people came alone so it was not hard to make friends. So we had some time until our room became available. So we decided to go down to the city center and took the tram to the city center because everyone wanted to get Drindles. So I did buy my Drindle before arriving there. I got mine from Etsy, it was like $85. Really, really cute. And I'm actually really glad I brought one already there with me because I think the one I brought was really nice quality for not a crazy expensive price but when i realized that we were actually going to oktoberfest for two days i was like well let me get another drindle so i went with everybody we went shopping for drindles ended up buying another pink one which I, now i'm like i wish i got a different color because 
both of my dreidels were pink but it was fun and that one was $85 too but it was I think the one I had brought was way better quality anyways because they had more expensive ones at the shop but they were like $200 and no so I ended up doing that everyone bought their dreidels it was really fun kind of like just exploring Munich and then we went back to our hotel and afterwards we met our roommates and got ready for dinner so relaxed for a bit got ready to go to dinner so we walked and got a little walking casual tour with our tour director which he was amazing and i'm just like that's one of the best parts i feel like with traveling with ef is like the tour directors i love my tour director in italy this tour director also is incredible so they always just make it so much more fun i feel like yeah we had dinner met some people and it was so fun and i think this is why i love going on these trips because i always wanted to study abroad i just thought the idea of like meeting strangers like abroad and you know experiencing a whole new country and culture together would be so fun and that was always my plan to do in college and i did have plans to go and then it got interrupted with covid but it was always something that i wanted to do i just wanted to be in my 20s meeting new people traveling the world and so i loved doing that again and meeting new people and instantly and we pretty much instantly clicked with these people we were sitting next to and we were kind of like a, we kind of like stayed a group the whole trip so we kind of did a lot of our activities together which it's really easy and nice to do because there's so many people wanting to make new friends anyways so that was fun and then we headed back got some rest and it was the next day ready for Oktoberfest so before actually going we did our walking tour but since from the walking tour we were gonna go straight to Oktoberfest. We were wearing our dwindles, which they told us anyways, and it was very normal that in Munich, everyone's, it's very common popular attire anyways to wear dwindles, so that was fun. We walked around, explored Munich, and then we walked to Oktoberfest, which was so cool, and I didn't know, know until kind of my trip leading up of how it is kind of more so like a carnival, and then they have the beer tents, which is like more popular from Oktoberfest, I feel like a lot of people don't know. It's like a carnival. So we went there and it was so cool. We, which what was really cool too is that with EF you get your tables reserved and you get two beers included plus lunch, which is so nice because I feel like if I was traveling like on my own and wanted to go to Oktoberfest, I would have no idea about those about how hard it is to get a table because it is hard and that's the only way you can order drinks and food is if you're sat at a table so it, and it's so hard I've seen so many videos of people like camping out to get rush in in the morning to get a table and it's so hard to get reservations and things like that so that's what I really liked about it is if you are wanting to go to Oktoberfest I would like book it through a travel group which I've also heard that it's not it's not very common for even travel groups to reserve tables for you so that's what i really liked about ef it was super easy and so we go there get our table and get our beers get our food and it was so fun because again um, we chit chatted with the people we were with the day before and just had a great time and it was so fun so we we're there for a few hours and then afterwards we just went on some carnival rides and explored that a bit that was really fun and then we headed back home and i oh and then before heading back home i love trying mcdonald's in different countries because the food is different so they had a mcdonald's nearby so i was like let's try mcdonald's here and it was good so I just like trying McDonald's in different countries. So that was fun. Then we headed back home. And then um, they did have a bar at our like hotel, which a lot of people did go out to. But I was like, I know we're going back tomorrow to Oktoberfest. So I went to bed. So yeah, we, I went to bed next day, went to Oktoberfest again. We got ready. We got to sleep in a bit. Um, we had a few hours until we had to meet to go all together, which again, it's very flexible. So if you do, like some people who wanted to stay in longer or do something else, you don't have to go all together, but it's just, it was easier to do that. So you have options that if you want to go, I'll go with people or if you want to do your own thing, you could totally do that. So we did that. 
went to Oktoberfest again. We went to a different beer tent. And the second beer tent that we went to, it, I guess it's like more known for like more partier tent, people singing, dancing, they play more popular music. Not That's the one thing is like the whole time I was, it was so fun, but I'm like, I wish I could like, they sang some more familiar songs. I'm like, I, it was cool hearing the German music, but I was like, I wish I could sing. And that's the second tent, they did play more popular music. They played Sweet Caroline, some Johnny Cash, some early 2000s music so um country music so they, it was that was fun everyone um standing on tables dancing singing and it was a great great time so oktoberfest day two i think was really really fun because our tent was really was really fun and it was just a good time and yeah we were there for hours again and then afterwards we didn't go on really carnival rides after on that day we did try some food though. I was like, I need to try a hot dog, of course, while I'm here. We did try pretzels the day before, which that's one thing, is you would think they would have the best pretzels. But I was like, honestly, and everyone else agreed, we're like, we could get better pretzels in the States. And I don't know why, like Wetzel's pretzels is so bomb. And I, it was like dry was not that great. And they don't serve you like cheese. So the whole time people are like, can we get like cheese with this like you want to like dip your pretzel in something um, but it was a good little snack and you have to have it when you're in Germany right so I had that and then had to try a hot dog hot dog was great chilled out there for a bit because we stayed longer that day at Oktoberfest anyways because after our table closed out we sat outside and was were there talking longer and just having a good time so we stayed there longer after the whole going to the carnival thing we wanted to go to the group I was with wanted to go to another beer garden. We ended up getting lost and can't, couldn't find where we're going. So we were like far out, we're like, let's just catch a bus to make sure we're closer to our hotel. So we ended up going back to our hotel and I think a couple people stayed out. Like in my group, I again went to bed early. <laughs> and then um, the next day we went to the castle that the, Sleeping Beauty castle is inspired by So that was really cool. Just the water and the lake was gorgeous and it was so pretty and a couple People in our group like went in the water. I didn't it was cold So I was like not gonna do that, but it looked it was so so beautiful And then after we kind of did this little hike It was like about a 20 minute hike up to the castle. So we went up to the castle got a tour inside it, and then took some pictures, hung out in that little town for a bit, and then we headed back home and had our farewell dinner. And that dinner was actually like my favorite meal I had there. It was like uh, roasted pork, mashed potatoes, and gravy, and it was so good. That was my favorite meal I had there. And that was the th difference of like being in Italy. Like Italy, everything you ate was just so good. And like one of the best parts of being in Italy was the food. And then Germany wasn't too exciting with the food, but that meal was probably my favorite I had there. And so yeah, that was our last day and we then the next day traveled back home and it was it was a great trip. And I will say like overall, like I'm so glad I did it. First of all, just to like push myself outside my comfort zone of traveling by myself. Like it's just been a great experience and I will definitely do another trip again. This is my second trip with EF. I have my third one in the spring. I'm going to Ireland. That one I'm going with one of my friends. And then I'm planning on going on another trip in the summer. So hopefully my friend can come with me. If not, I will do that trip solo. But I'm just like, have I've just really been having this travel itch and wanting to travel right now that I'm in my mid 20s. So it's been so much fun and I'm so like lucky and grateful that I've been able to like check these things off my bucket list and having just an awesome time doing it. So it's been a great time. And I know some people had some questions about my experience on TikTok. So if you guys have any questions, leave them down below and I will try and answer them for you. But yeah, that was my experience traveling with EF Ultimate Break. And if you are also wanting to travel and don't have anyone to go with, I just highly, highly recommend booking with them because I mean, this is not even sponsored. I'm like, it should be, <laughs> but I'm like, you should because it's just so great that you get to meet new people, it's so fun, and you get to explore the world without worrying about, 
you know, not having anyone to go with you. And just, it's like, have no excuses. Just book that trip that you've always wanted to go to. And yeah, but if you guys enjoyed today's video and hearing about my experience going to Germany, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys.